Biggers of Today's You with Coach Sullivan and Mason Furlick, Michigan Wolverines track and field. Coach Sullivan, is there anything to the engineering, the tactical mindset when it comes to running? Because there, there is definitely a connection there. Well, there's certainly a connection with our team. We've got five or six engineers on the team right now. Um, you know, I came from an engineering background myself. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I think uh, I think there's certainly a benefit to you know, being able to think out different race scenarios and, and think through some workouts and things like that. But, um, you know, I think part of it is, you know, we have a lot of really hardworking, dedicated, motivated athletes on our team. And I think those qualities translate between you know, engineering students and, and athletes. And so I think there's just a lot of similarities there. And I was speaking with Mason, just kind of like the, the tactical side, you know, looking at maybe when when to make your push, that sort of thing. How much of that kind of goes in when you're planning and, uh, you know, when you're, when you're speaking with Mason? Well, yeah, certainly. I mean, I think, you know, whenever you go into a, a competitive situation, it's a bit of a, you have to have some problem solving skills. And certainly you learn that uh, pretty quickly as an engineer. And, uh, you know, you have to learn how to, you know, adapt and, and change things on the fly. And, um, you know, so like I said, I think there's some transferable skills, certainly. Mason, the, the tactical side to running, I mean, how, is this, uh, we, we talked about it briefly, just something that you kind of, I, I guess, live by a little bit as far as the, looking at races and segments. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, there's always different parts of the race, and you try to set up different strategies for how you think it's going to play out. You know, whether it's going to be like a slow tactical race with a kick at the end or hard from the gun, and you're trying to position yourself to relax. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it also comes down to instincts. I think, you know, you don't need to be, completely analytical mind to have, you know, good killer race instincts, but um, certainly kind of boiling down to how the race plays out and thinking of, about it beforehand can give you, like, definitely an advantage. Um, if you come into the race not expecting anything or not uh, kind of planning out scenarios, you might be caught off guard, and uh, engineers love to plan, so definitely helps, um, you know, prepare yourself for the race. This one's for either one. Maybe maybe not a hundred percent connection all the time with everybody, but running definitely. You know, a, th a thinking man's uh, sport. Coach Sullivan, just how do you feel about that? I mean, it's it's definitely a sport where uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of mental fortitude that goes into it. Well, yeah. I mean, you're talking about you know races that are you know for some of these guys they're they're running you know upwards of you know 28, 29, 30 minutes at a time, and there's a lot of time to just you're kind of in your head and there's a lot of things that can go through your head. So there is, there's a lot of time spent thinking you don't get a, you don't get a break to kind of be able to relax and recoup. And, uh, and, and so you've got to be able to, like I said, think on the, think on the fly a little bit. You've got to be able to, you know, handle your emotions and handle your thoughts, uh, you know, throughout or throughout a, a whole race. Appreciate your time guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.